Online learning, free courses. Hey guys, okay, so now we are diving into the value ladder on Fiverr and how you guys can best utilize the packages and the gig extras to be able to offer um, a great experience for your customers. So basically, we've already uh, touched on the whole concept, what a value ladder is, etc. So now let's just go real quickly into these gig packages. So Fiverr allows you to have three different offerings, right? A basic, a standard, and a premium. You can name these whatever you want. Um, I recommend keeping them the same, the basic, the standard, the premium. That's what almost everyone on Fiverr does. Um, I, I wouldn't, it, it's, it's almost always titled this. So I would just keep those packages named basic, standard, and premium. Um, from there, I do recommend keeping your basic gig at the five or ten dollar range for the most sales obviously you have a lot of competition on fiverr everyone does nowadays so with that being said you want to make sure that you're still appealing to people's um instinctual uh where they want to go with the cheaper package right so um now that I'm not saying that we you have to do that all the time because there are certain offerings on Fiverr where the market dictates higher prices. For example, press releases are one of those things where you can get away with offering slightly higher prices. As you can see here, um, I've my basic gig starts off at fifteen dollars. Now I haven't had nearly as many orders for this gig because there's, there are people that still offer press releases at $5, right? But for me, and what I'm offering here, I, I need to charge more because I'm offering more. Um, now over here, I go, you know what? Keyword research is pretty simple and easy for me to uh, deliver on. So therefore, I'm gonna be able to keep my prices as low as possible and be able to get a lot more sales. And that's my 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 favorite method on Fiverr because it just seems to work better. Again, um, you have to keep in mind that these packages are relatively new. They've only been rolled out within the last year or two. Um, so people uh, are, are getting used to slightly higher price points. However, those lower price points still win more people over most of the time. Now, um, I want you to see here that I offer a standard package at $25 and then I offer a premium package at $100. What I used to offer um, in my gig extras, they don't, you can't see those here anymore. If I did not have packages enabled, then all you would see is the basic $5 gig and then a list of extras. And what I used to do is I have a $5, that was my basic, then a 25, a 50, and a 100. And I think I had like a 300 for like a ton of keywords. Um, but those, that was my value ladder in a nutshell. Now, the way that this is different from an off Fiverr value ladder is the, the, the thing I told you before about you wanna make sure that your offerings are slightly different at each step of the value ladder. So, you know, you don't want to make sure you want to you don't want to make your $5 offering the exact same as your 30, 50 or $100 offering, right? You want to make sure it's different and that you're giving great value at every step. That can change a little bit on Fiverr because here I'm actually offering the exact same service here, here and here, but I'm offering more of it. So, instead of just getting what do i deliver five keywords for five dollars they're getting 50 keywords here for 25 and they're getting 300 keywords for a hundred dollars so and they also have um a couple other advanced things like i i provide the the organic keyword competition for both the standard and the premium packages which i do not offer for the basic so they are getting a higher value, but again, um, on Fiverr, you can get away with offering the exact same service, but offering more of it inside of your, your packages, your, your mini value ladders here. 
Another way that you can go about this would be um, to offer actually different things. So when I offered backlink building on, on Fiverr, what I would do is the standard and the premium would come with different types of items. So it would be like three different types of campaigns is what you could get. So it literally was three different packages. Now, of course, you were getting more links at every point. So in a way, you were getting the same thing, but it was offered in a different way. Other people um, may offer for, for services like, um, let's say you're, you wanted to come up with business names for someone. You may offer them logo design or business card design, um, or maybe you want to help them do domain research. So those would all be very different services, right? But those are things that you could incorporate into your packages on Fiverr to make them different and a unique sort of uh, offering. So I hope um, this is making sense to you about you know how how you can keep you want to keep your, your your prices low for the front end right for that basic gig keep prices low. The other thing that you can do is you can offer more of the same service or you can actually offer different services for your packages. So those that's just however you want to work it, whatever you feel is best. And also look around to what other sellers are offering that are doing well, that have a lot of reviews, see what they're offering and kind of, you know, craft your gigs around that because that's what I do and it's always worked well. Um, so that's what I recommend. Um, let me think if there's anything else that I really want to share with you guys about crafting your, your mini value ladders on Fiverr. Um, I guess the other thing that I can, I can say is that now on Fiverr you are allowed to offer custom orders even when you are a level one and I believe uh, not, not as a new seller, only once you reach a level one. But once you reach a level one, then you can go ahead and offer custom offers up to $5,000. So if you wanted to, um, if someone comes along and they ask you for something that's custom, build them out a package if you want, and then go ahead and send them a custom offer for whatever the amount may be. So that's another way that you can um, sort of utilize a value ladder. I, I wouldn't consider that um, as much of a value ladder as the packages, right? But again, it's another way that you can add more income to your bottom line every month. So quickly, like as you can see, here is someone who's a successful writer on Fiverr, and uh, they've set their packages at you know very affordable, 15, 25, and 35. So there's there's very different ways that you can set up your packages. Make sure it's something that works for you, right? Um, that you're getting your your value from but yet nothing that's going to be too high of price points where you're not getting orders. So that's the biggest thing that you want to keep in mind are, are your price points. Um, and the, just look around, research. Um, I've showed you guys in the earlier videos how to do that, how to research the best selling gigs so that you can kind of see what things are selling well, how do they word it, how do they package their gigs. And then you can just simply success hack them and copy off of what they're doing and you'll you'll be able to see success like they are so that is um the value ladder on fiverr in a nutshell it's very simple easy straightforward there's not a lot to it um because you only have three gigs right you only have a, a basic standard and premium and then from there you can still add gig extras but let me show you how they're going to show up. Basically, no, I can't I can't show you on my gig, but if we go here, hopefully he has some extras. Yep. Yeah. So we can see all the extras that he has listed here. Once you order, once someone places an order they won't be able to see these price points anymore. They can still go ahead and order extras, but they won't be able to see like what the price point is. So I just wanted to, to go ahead and um, show you that. But 
this is where your extras will show up is on the checkout page they won't show up on the gig page down here or anywhere it'll be after someone presses order and then they'll be prompted um, with all these extras that they could add so don't be afraid to go ahead and add extras as well when you're making these packages i know some people thought like i originally thought when these packages came out it was like a the packages or the extras but you can actually do both and this is where the extras will show up so um just something to keep in mind when you're crafting your offerings that you can also offer you know these little things that they can add on as well and that's a great way to add more income to to your bottom line every month as well so that is fiverr's value ladder um in a brief nutshell from here, I'm going to be talking in the next video. I'm going to be talking about the value ladder off Fiverr a little bit more, and some of the examples of that, and how um, you guys can go ahead and build out your value ladders quickly and easily as well. So stick with me in the next video.